is this the night? Seniors football guys run into kryptonite. Bronx have 22 straight wins, all by double digits. They get West to close the regular season, though, and you know anything goes in a rivalry game. Plus, the Bears have won six of seven. Q2's Casey Conlon shows us what guys on both sides of the ball are saying barely an hour from kickoff. This is how it's supposed to be. Senior against West. A great rivalry on a blustery Friday night in late October to close the regular season with tons on the line. There have been some great games between these two over the years, but it's hard to imagine this one living up to even West's last game when they were down 30 to nothing last week before staging an epic comeback. It was pretty unbelievable. I, I personally don't think I've ever seen a comeback like that. And uh, to be part of it was pretty exciting. I asked Coach Guelph, who's been around for a long time, and, and he couldn't remember a time that we've ever been behind like that before. The Bears scored 35 straight to stun CMR and clinch a playoff spot. But if they want a home game, which would only come with a win tonight, they can't afford that start again. We can't let them get ahead early. We gotta, we gotta key in on their studs. We gotta, we gotta hold them. We have to obviously take care of number seven. I don't, I don't think you can take care of him. Hopefully, you can. Uh, minimize his explosive plays because he is, you know, in my opinion, probably the best player in the region, not the state, the region. Execute the game plan. We got a good one in and uh, we, our players just got to execute. We'll, we'll do what we need to do. Stop the big players, stop the big plays. Nobody has been able to do that in two years. But strange things happen in rivalry games. The senior isn't going to let anything stand in their way of history. This is a blast. This is, this is a good spot to be in. Obviously, you look at it early on in the year, this is exactly how you, how you would draw it up. The Bronx have won 22 in a row, all by double digits, a feat that seems impossible in the constant turnover world of AA football. It's a testament to great depth and mindset. It's been a blessing. We just have so many good players on our team. It's just great to play with them, get better each year. It's just good to see people grow, too, step into roles this year that we didn't know that would, people would step up. You know, we've never really talked about the streak at all. You know, we just we kind of have the same mantras that I'm sure all, all coaches have, that it really is a day-by-day -day focus. It's, you know, it's all so cliche, but it really is. It's, it's important to have that, to have that routine. An impressive routine earlier this season was Micah Ons intercepting passes. He had one in seniors' first six games. Then a drop in game seven against Butte dried up the well. But he knows chances are coming tonight. We got to concentrate on uh, Jesse Owens and uh, Cy Ryan. They're really, they're two really phenomenal wide receivers, and we just got to focus on shutting them down. There will be plenty of points scored tonight between all those athletes on this turf. We'll have full highlights tonight at 10 to see if the streak lives on, or if West can pull the upset of the year. At Dayla Stadium, Casey Conlon for MTN Sports.